So as the title says, the Samsung Nexus is banned from the United States. It's a temporary ban, Apple went to the courts and said that Samsung was again infringing on their patent. But let's just start off with the patent itself. Apparently Apple is saying that since Siri uses this functionality where it gets answers from searching through various databases, they own the rights to that functionality. They don't own the right for search. We can argue that Google owns the right for search, but they really don't. People have been searching forever, just like we talked about before. Two companies doing something similar, giving the user the same kind of thing, but different twist on it, and they were able to coexist. Fast food companies, soda companies, automobile companies, technology companies, but apparently because it's fucking Apple, that doesn't work in this country. Now, if you're not an American, let me just explain something to you. Apple is the richest country, richest country, they should be a fucking country. <laughs> Apple is the richest company in this country out of all the industries. They're number one. So they can go to the fucking courts. They had to pay 90 plus million dollars just in case Samsung wins the suit. They have to have that money reserved so it goes right to Samsung for damages and everything else. But this is the issue. Apple doesn't give a shit. Can you imagine a company that says, oh, fuck it, you know, $90 million? Okay, bring it to the fucking bank or whatever. Write them a check because we have it. Even if we're wrong, we can still fight them. And that's exactly what Apple is doing. They're playing everybody for stupid. They go to the fucking court. We all know that some judge in fucking California is not the right person to be deciding this issue. Samsung is a fucking South Korean company. Apple has its home office in fucking California. It's just fucked up. It's really not right. And yeah, personally, I want the Samsung Nexus. That's the phone I want. But it's not just about that. I just watched the news before. Nobody was talking about this issue. And you know why? Because these fuckers plan this out. Anytime in this country, when there's a news story that people don't want getting out, big companies and politicians will release it on a Friday. That way, over the weekend, people are off from work. They're not paying attention and everything else. And then back to Monday starts the first day of the big news cycle. They're so fucked up. It's not even funny. It's either Apple or the courts. One or the other decided to release this news right now on a Friday. It's the biggest amount of bullshit I've ever heard. The stockholders for Apple should be really concerned about how they're running their company. There is no fucking innovation going on over there. Give me a fucking break. You're going to create another iPhone with the same fucking screen. You're going to have another iPad with the same fucking look to it. No one gives a shit anymore. But let the phones come in this country that we all want to buy. And yeah, we all want to buy. Because you know what? Google just had an event the other day, IO12. They showed the phone, they showed the tablet, they showed what they're doing with Jelly Bean. There's so much innovation going on over there. They're helping handicap people. Where do you read any stories where Apple is doing anything good for the community? Richest fucking company in this country. You never, ever hear about Apple doing anything charitable. Not one time have I read a news story or watched something on TV and said, oh, Apple's doing something great for the community. They're so fucking money hungry. That's all they are. They're one big, giant, greedy fucking company. And yeah, I own an iPod. I'm ready to fucking throw that thing in the ocean. I am so tired of reading these stories. You're telling me that Apple owns the right for search. This is just fucking crazy. All the Android users know that Apple stole the idea of the drop-down notification. Oh, borrowed, or whatever the fuck you want to say. It's time for Google or some other company to sue Apple and put them in their place. We all know that the other companies don't really want to do it because they think about innovation and they also think about the PR aspect of it but it's enough put them in their place and say you know what fuck off